time and talking to him and basically doing a 45 minute uh, interview and introduction to his music for everybody that was listening. Uh, so uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it, it was. I think it's a legitimate question uh, because obviously when we went over his videos, we were we were the question, sarcastic. The question is why? The, the question is why did we have him on the show? And I think the honest answer was because we really wanted to know what was underneath what we saw, and it turned out that what was underneath was utterly delightful and filled us with amazement and joy. And uh, and of everything we've done on Scam School, having Tom Ke or uh, damn it of NSFW, uh, the uh, uh, having Tom on was was maybe one of my favorite top five experiences in the entire history of the show. It, it was it was a great thing, and it was the first time that I've ever seen the chat realm just totally like in a second flip in, in like unrestrained praise uh, for for something. You know, uh, I mean, oftentimes even like today, you know, there's. I think there's a vast majority of everybody who watches live kind of gets it. You know, they're they're in on the joke and they want to kind of follow along. Uh, but even then, there's sarcasm and everything because we're sarcastic. And, and as the, the merit law of chat rooms uh, dictates, you get the one that you deserve. Uh, and there was no sarcasm at all with Tomcat. Right. Well, and, and plus also, and, and let's face it, it could have gone very different. If Tomcat was a different person, if he was conceited, if he thought, you know, he's like, you guys don't appreciate my art or whatever, you know, then, yeah, we would have bared teeth and it would have been a very different experience. But it wasn't. You know, we had him on because we wanted to know what was underneath. And it turns out what was underneath was sunshine, pure free-based sunshine. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. And it's like, you know, compare it to Turquoise Jeep. You know, when we had Turquoise Jeep on, these are guys who are their characters, but they're characters. You know, they're yeah. they they are they are performing in a role, and 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 they play around with that, and they have this kind of tongue in cheek humor, but they are playing the people that they are. They're playing Young Hama and Flint Flossy and everything. Tomcat is literally Tomcat. You know, and that's yeah. what that's what was interesting was that like talking to him and not. Seeing somebody who's like, oh, well, I have these songs and I'm doing it and it's kind of tongue in cheek. It's like he has a sense of humor, but it is very much his own vibe and energy. And, and he yeah, was, he was, you know, he was just great to talk to. But it's like, but no, I don't, I don't feel in any way that we did not, both of both sides, us and Tomcat both came palms up to like, let's just have a good time. It was no hidden agenda. You know, you mentioned Turquoise Jeep and the H. In the chat room, said they should really be back on NSFW sometime. Man, I wonder. that's just what the H said. That's what just what the H. The H is always saying stuff in the chat. I noticed, but you know, uh, but he, this time he's saying that that, that the, the turquoise jeep should be back. I'll t I'll look into that. <laughs> um, for the audio listeners. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh. There we go, man. Uh, Brian, uh, this, hey, can I, mean, I can I say can I say and I want this in the episode. Hopefully, the after show will all make it in there. Um, uh, uh, you know, we always do the bit of me being horrified or, or whatever. But uh, I I want to say my do you want to know my favorite bit out of all of them? Which which was your favorite bit? What do you have a guess? Uh, I think uh, which was the one? I'll tell you this. There is there are a few times. Because uh, NSFW show and BB Live show, for me, is always very, very special because it is the chronicling of my friendship with Brian. I can probably count on my hands the times that I've seen Brian uh, turn away from the mic to, like, not <laughs> laugh. Because normally, like, you'll, like, even if, if it's, like, a, a, a funny punch, you know, you're, like, you'll laugh into the mic to give it, like, that radio sound. I don't think I've ever seen you just... Like shut down and hold your mouth and not give the emotion into the mic, and that I think was Mary selling to white slavery, smuggling to Canada. Uh, that that was not bad, but but um, uh, that one um, was was long and unpredictable, and and you had a structure to it. But uh, for for one note punch, get in, get out, copyright and. <laughs> like because it built on the whole character of of you being irresponsible, and then you delivered like it sounded like okay, this is going to be a threat. He's not going to actually do it, and then you let it play just the right amount of time to where it was exactly <laughs> Star Wars, <laughs> Lady Gaga. It was amazing. 
amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> I was just shocked at how much that Star Wars clip went with the new Lady Gaga single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, this, uh, like, pulling back the curtain, like, I was really, 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 really weirded out. That, I mean, because there was a very real possibility that you weren't going to be able to do the show. Um depending on on your schedule today and it would it would have been the first time ever it would have been the first time ever but but just you know it, me not having any idea if i can make it and not having to get ourselves to you know to jason it was important to me that we do the show at the regular time uh and i'm glad i'm glad that you didn't back down or say let's move to a different time i'm glad we built it in a way and we rolled the dice and it looked it worked out great i mean you did a great job of structuring everything and, and you really did build it so i could swoop in after the show started and join and it felt that people are were saying it was one of the best episodes uh well also let's go ahead and give a huge thank you as we do every single time when jackie hearn blesses us with her amazing work uh she did the intro which uh was the brian puppet doing uh the normal nsfw intro uh so thank you so much jackie hearn oh, thanks Ayas, are you leaving absolutely well, thank you i appreciate that is Ayas leaving don't leave, I Yes, I'm going. Uh, all right. Um, oh, man, people are saying that Turquoise Jeep might not happen because of their tour dates. Man. Oh, man. That'd be really that'd be really bad if Turquoise Jeep couldn't happen. Bye, I tour. I love you. Don't leave. I want to say goodbye. <laughs> See you guys. So long. Uh, He's out of there. All right. Well, here, I'll tell He's you running. what. Let's, let's go ahead and wrap it up because I know me and Brett got to get back down to Oakland. Uh, yep, yep. But uh, Bye, and, and, and Brian's got to get sleep for his big project, uh, dressing up as Superman and trying to sign it's, autographs. It's, oh, you want to back tell anybody? Theater. All right, uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, of course, ruinem. dot com uh, shipping now. I love you guys. It's good. I finally drank it. Ruinem is good. Turns out it's not crap. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. I guess we got to do all the all the billboards and stuff, right? Uh, hey, what are we going to call this one? Uh, wait. No, oh, um, that's a good point. Tra train wreck? All Brian's idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Brian approved? Or Brian's favorites bits? Brian's? <laughs> I, I think Brian's... Favorite bits or Brian approved makes sense. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Unapproved. <laughs> I mean, how many times have we done the canceled or like the last episode? I feel like we've had oh, like yeah, two or three. Like if we were ever going to do a best of, it'd be like just the we're canceled episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We I could like, do like a best I like of Brian's video. favorite bits. Yep. So we got my favorite. Yeah, I like Brian Brian's bits. favorite bits. Yeah. Kid tested, Brian approved. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to. The thing is, the only thing that makes me uncomfortable is I don't want to take away from the fact that, that you really did put all of this together on there. Uh, but it's no, I'm fine episode. giving you all the credit for these bits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, hmm. beef. Remembering our 420 episode when we just took TNT's prep doc. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. There's somebody who was so high watching us that was like their mind was blown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty amazing. Um, okay, what about we just call it approved bits? How about that? Uh, approved bits. There we go. Let me just say for everybody who's looking over uh, the Turquoise Jeep's tour schedule, remember that the week after Dragon Con, we already have an episode in the can. So we've got a lot of time there. Week after Dragon Con. Uh, all right. So here we go. Approved bits. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Or I would about totally approved. We'll do it. Totally approved. Uh, oh. Uh, Jammer B was suggesting that I should do the title, so yeah, it's not to break illusion. Good call. Yeah. Uh, all right, one ninety one. Yes. Okay. 
This is NSFW, episode 191, recorded Wednesday, August 13th, Approved Bits. Tuesday? 2013. 2013? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Double complete rainbow. This is NSFW, episode 191, for Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. Approved bits. Recorded on August 13, 2013. Double complete rainbow. This is NSFW, episode 191, recorded Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. Approved bits. All right. This week on NSFW, Brian is not here. He's got a big project in L.A. I'm here. I wrote the show based on bits that Brian came up with. Wink. Also, we're joined by Isaac Tar. Also, we're joined by Brett the Amtrek Aronsville. Also, we hear music from Jason Howell, a.k.a. Yellow Gold. It's all coming up on this Brian Brushwood free edition of NSFW Show. Well done. All right, hey man, I need to uh, bathe, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, jump off while you do the ads. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh 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 uh. And I closed all of the things for this. Nobody wants a dirty Brian. It's a bad idea. All right. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8. Ting.com. Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 off your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. Uh, and that brings us to the end of our adventure. I'm going to go have a heart attack. I love you guys. Woo! Hey. Now Jason has to edit four episodes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm the loyal so trooper, but I thought there. maybe we should do a check-in at the end of summer 2013. Cheaper You're going to have to subscribe to well, this week in Enterprise sure. Tech uh, in order to get that. Much requested check in that Father Robert Balser uh, was teasing there. Hello, everybody. Rotate. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Third wave. Sarah Lane. Hi. Sarah Lane. Sarah Lane. You know, I didn't uh, find it. I read it. Uh, I read it in an article. Sarah Lane. Uh -huh. Lord. I still have not watched any of those. Oh, None somebody's of the Lord saying of the it's now $60, that it was an iTunes mistake. Oh, that explains it. Is that, just, is that all of those collections? 
I don't know. Harry Potter is still ten dollars for HD. Maybe I should get it. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know if I like it enough for this. But just to fill out the collection, it seems worthwhile. Jason, do you have an opinion? Uh, I was doing things, so no. Would you buy the Harry Potter Complete Collection for $10? I would not. On iTunes? Well, you know... In uh, HD. I guess now that I have kids, maybe I would. I never saw any of the Harry Potters. I tried to watch the first one, and I didn't make it very far into it. I just wasn't interested. <laughs> but I'm sure there will be a time when my two young girls are entranced by Harry Potter, and they would want and to watch it, it. at which time $10 would seem like a bargain, actually, for the whole yeah. thing. Because one disc is like... I prefer to buy my movies on Vudu because they're available on more platforms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to uh, you don't have to rebuy them theoretically. True, Lennon. Right. They'll Definitely. watch the new thing, whatever that is. <laughs> Harry Potter will be like, oh, that was like 15 years ago. That's old. That's those are olden times movies. Harry Potter has staying power, though. Yeah, it does. Every kid... I have a feeling that that it's going to last for a while. When I when I turn on the TV and just want to have something on, like on a weekend morning, just to have something on, I will often, if there's a Harry Potter film playing, I'll just put that on. That's what because I, I know it's entertaining, but mm -hmm. I also know what happens, so I don't have to pay attention. For movies like that, I used to have a, a like a meta tag for it. It is called a TBS because that's basically yeah. what I used to keep on on the cable like all the time. So like a Benzino uh, Man would be on, or like any Paulie right. Shore movie. So yeah, I can run that in the background and not pay attention. So I just do the little uh, spotlight search for TBS, and they all show up, and just run a playlist. It's my own programmer, television programmer. All right, I don't. Know. All right, uh, I as you told me about your video, we're all good there. Sarah, do you have any video or anything I should look out for? Uh, no, not okay. in the show today. I mean, for the um, for the camera story, uh, there are camera some uh, uh, you know just visuals on the article, but nothing, okay. no video. Cool. Thank y'all. I've got source sure. stuff in mine. Uh, yep, saw that. And if you could find some aerial map photos of Oslo on the fly, that'd be kind of cool for for that story. And then I see you got the the randomizer video. Yep. Already highlighted, so you're good with that. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. It is, uh, we're at, we're at, there's a Southern California axis and a Northern California axis <laughs> on the screen. But we've still all got the same mic. Oh, they just yeah. fixed the price. The one thing that unites us. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't get the memo about you have to have the mic pointing up at your chin as opposed to flying in from the side. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we do that? They just corrected the Harry Potter price. Like oh, uh, really? Before it's, you were able to buy it? Well, that's okay. What is it now? I was going to say $10 is... $59 now. Yeah. Maybe it's I should... Like for, for $10, I feel like we should all get it. Yeah, yeah, right? Even though I don't really want it either. See, that's exactly what my thought was this morning. I'm like, I could push the button, but I could use the $10 for, I don't know, Yeah, but you... Lunch? What did you ask me about the other day? You were like, should I get this thing for $100? And I was like, no. Why would you do that? I don't remember. I say that all the time. Well, you remember the conversation, right? Where That's I'm like, like every conversation. You don't want that. But it's so cheap. That's usually my reaction. But it wasn't really. It wasn't ten dollars. Yeah. Still, it's, I don't know if I like Harry Potter enough to pay ten dollars for it. Like I don't know. Watch it. I, I mean, get, I I loved those movies, but I still I just, just like. I'm. I don't know. It's like I don't need a physical collection of anything ever. Well, that's digital. I want to get rid of my bookcases, not add to them. They won't add to your bookcase. They're iTunes videos. So in your bookcase, there'll be an Apple TV and a Voodoo box. I don't want that either, though, because then I just got to buy more hard drives. It's the new bookcase. <laughs> That's <laughs> hard drives are the new bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> kind of true, actually. Too many damn hard drives. a lot of just, sense to me. I just want to say, I'm in the mood for this. Streaming? Yes. Yeah, and then when it's done, I'm over it. That's actually, that's actually why when I do buy stuff, I tend to buy it on Voodoo now. Because I don't have to keep track of it. It's with Apple. Yeah. I know they do some cloud yeah. storage, but I'm like, it's not. Voodoo's like everything you buy is in, is there. It's done. And then you what, can get it what do you watch you it on, Tom? I watch it on the iPad. I watch mm -hmm. it on the Roku. I watch it on my laptop. All three, there you depending. Go. Yeah, 
And I don't have to, yeah, I don't have to think about like, oh, is it available for that? Because it's available for so many things. But I'm like you, Sarah, I don't really want to manage even a DVR. That's how lazy I am. I just want to type in, I want to watch this thing and then watch it. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I guess there's probably a little bit I'm paying for convenience, but... It was the Bond it's, uh, collection, Sarah. That's what we were talking about. Oh, God. I don't yeah. even need the Bond collection. You were like, collection. should I buy the James Bond collection for like 150 bucks? I'm like, no. It was like 60% off. DVD or digital? <laughs> that was, that was Blu-ray. 60% Blu off of something way more expensive. Yeah, because See, I didn't need it. buy too many shoes. I didn't need but either it's one. on sale. Hey, <laughs> I agree Works. with that. That's I why. saved so much money by spending the, on this thing that I would have never bought otherwise. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you go broke by saving money. That's what's like, okay. That's why I wound up not getting those. Because also, I was like, well, I could just get Netflix, deep, like Blu ray, every month for like a year and just watch them that way. Ooh, I don't need that either. Okay, I gotta get off these deal sites. No more deals before showtime. Yes. Oh, yeah, don't do the deal sites. I'll kill you. What? I'm just going to plug up. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm still stuck on the whole hard drives or the new bookcase. That, uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. Because we've had these hard drives for years now, and even when you upgrade a hard drive, you move the structure and the contents over to your new hard drive. So it's like you've got all this legacy sorting, or at least I can speak for myself. I want to clean it up, but it's so much to tackle. Yeah. that I don't even know where to begin. And uh, I, I almost want to just erase it all and start from scratch. <laughs> I, that I have nested up. folder structures that date back to my Windows 98 machine that I had in Austin. Oh. Windows 98, so you actually like, have more than eight characters. I can't get rid of this stuff. Yeah. Don't get so rid of it. you just keep bringing that onto your new machine. Yes, exactly. Is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someday I'm just going to erase my hard drive and start completely over. That's I'm probably gonna, not going to miss most of it. My music collection. I need to redo the whole thing. Yeah. All right. We uh, good to start? Yeah, let's go. Um, oh, actually, I didn't give me one second because I haven't opened the this the copy. We have Squarespace. That's it. Yes, okay. Squarespace. Uh, I uh, I picked the seven site, the Butler site. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so go. I have that one to show off. All right, Denise, uh, hold the line. We'll introduce you after the news fuse in the first ad. About seven minutes in. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> This is Tech News Today for Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. Lots of 13th. Tech News Today is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code TNT8. Welcome to Tech News Today. I'm Tom Merritt. I'm Sarah Lane. I'm Maya Zekta. And I'm Jason Howell. And this is the show where we keep you up to date on the most important stories in the tech world. Put them in some context for you, starting with the top 10 stories of the day. Call it the news fuse. Ah. Or Elon. Elon Musk revealed the details of his Hyperloop transport system and the internet went wild, ladies and gentlemen. In short, Musk proposes building two steel tubes, mostly along Interstate 5 in California between San Francisco and Los Angeles. 28 passengers would board an aluminum capsule every 30 seconds to two minutes to be whipped at a top speed of 768 miles per hour in a low-pressure environment. Hyperloop would cost an estimated $6 billion. Musk has open-sourced the idea and requests ideas and improvements be sent to Hyperloop at TeslaMotors.com or Hyperloop at SpaceX.com. The U.S. Secret Service has released the first 104 pages of agency documents about the late coder and activist Aaron Schwartz, including a report on Schwartz's suicide less than three months before his scheduled trial. You may remember back in January 2011, Swartz was caught using MIT's public network to download 4 million academic articles. MIT had a subscription to the archive that made it free to use from MIT's campus. The Secret Service was brought into the case, and federal prosecutors ultimately charged Swartz with wire fraud and computer hacking. 
According to Windows Weekly's own Mary Jo Foley, Windows 8.1 will be available to the general public in mid-October, even though the operating system update is on target to go RTM at the end of this month. PC makers will receive a version of 8.1 soon so they can test it out, uh, test out the update with new hardware also slated for October. Windows 8.1 has been widely considered a response to all of those criticisms Windows 8 faced with a number of new features like a start flag on the desktop. Yeah, Microsoft's getting soft in its old age. It keeps ch responding to criticisms. Previously, the Xbox One was not supposed to be able to operate without the Kinect on. Now, Xbox One platform architect Mark Witten says Xbox One will run perfectly fine, even if the Kinect isn't connected to it. Obviously, things that need the Kinect won't work, but otherwise it'll be fine. Witten also confirmed that you can turn the Kinect completely off, even when it is connected, and it will not collect any information. Norwegian officials have confirmed they are not going to let Apple take aerial photographs of Oslo to create 3D images for its Maps app. Anyone wishing to fly over the capital to take pictures requires a license from the authorities. Now, other map brands have used flat satellite images for their services, and Nokia has 3D images of some of Oslo's buildings in its Here product, but only for parts of the city. News of the denial was first reported by the local newspaper, Aftenposten. It said officials were worried about the public having access to detailed views of government buildings. Facebook just picked up speech recognition developer Mobile Technologies. Tom Stocky, product manager, uh, management director at Facebook, said this is an investment in our long-term product roadmap. Now, in the past, Mobile Technologies built an app that allowed for speech-to-speech -speech translation as well as providing automatic interpretation services for lectures. Tibet.net, the Chinese language website of the Tibetan government in exile, has been compromised, according to security company Kaspersky Lab. The malicious software could be used to spy on visitors. Kaspersky reports the site has been under attack all the way back to 2011 from probably the same group. Previous breaches had been quietly fixed without attracting attention, however. Samsung's 55-inch curved OLED monitor is $9,000, but that's at least uh, quite a bit less than the $15,000 we were quoted last month. The KN55S9C was designed with a curved profile in order to envelope viewers. Your viewing experience is more immersive. The OLED set includes the company's full multi-view feature, which lets two people watch different programming at the same time when using compatible active 3D glasses Boy, we all love those. And it's compatible with the Evolution Kit Samsung introduced at CES. The 55-inch set, it's on its way to select retailers right now. The KN55S9C. Ah, oh, the snappiest name for tech, <laughs> let me know. tell you. One sign that Google is the new Apple is that we here at Tech News Today now get you cover too much Google complaints instead of you cover too much Apple complaints. How things have changed. Another sign is that Google's new products lead to a spate of complaints as soon as they launch. The new Nexus 7 apparently has problems with GPS and multi-touch. Chatter about phantom inputs and screen freakouts have become common on the XDA developers and Google products forums, according to Engadget. Google says, quote, the Android team is aware of the issues and investigating. There's a new class action lawsuit against Microsoft that claims Microsoft issued materially false and misleading statements regarding the company's financial performance and its tablet computer, the Surface RT. Microsoft recently took a $900 million charge for the Surface RT, parts and accessories on its last quarterly statement. If you want to join the class action, you'll have to be a Microsoft stockholder between the period of April 18th, 2013 and July 18th, 2013. This episode of Tech News Today brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create a high-quality website, pro website, gallery, online portfolio, and uh, I, I use it for my own sites. But we've been asking people to send us a tweet with a link to your Squarespace website to hashtag TNT Squarespace, and we'll take a look at it. And uh, today we're looking at the Butler Did It AVL dot com. Uh, this will make you excited about a cleaning company. It's a it's a clever name. Uh, it shows what, that you don't have to know anything about design, but you can still create a great-looking, easy-to-use professional site with Squarespace templates. This is a straight Squarespace template, but you'd never know it unless you already know Squarespace template. It looks amazing. Uh, they use forms. Uh, they they re You can request a cleaning price quote. This is something you can just build, drag and drop right into your, your template. You could be making a, a high, this probably did not, I don't know how long this took him, but it probably didn't take him more than a, a, a small amount of time to put this together. Probably the most amount of time was finding the good photos 
to add to it. They, they're constantly improving Squarespace. They've got these beautiful designs. They've won many design awards, and it's easy to use. I, I love that I can just drag stuff in, drag photos in, drag videos in, get them embedded, have a have a, a easy thumbnail come up. And it's inexpensive. It starts at just $8 a month and includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. And, of course, I'm always talking about this, but I love the mobile-ready responsive designs because it really makes your site look right on a smartphone, a tablet, or a desktop.